welcome to FA channel. I'm Paris. Yesterday, Adobe Max 2020 launched the first day of the conference and it went virtual of course and then it's completely free. I've had a great time watching a lot of inspiring talks and then exciting about trying all the new features they've been launched especially for the new uh, Adobe Aero Augmented Reality software because it used to be a mobile app. Now it extended more creative um, functions that you can do it on your desktop, both Windows and Mac. So in today's video, I want to talk about what are those new features. Last night, right after we watched the conference, I tried with my business partner using our existing material. I will talk about how we did it and what are the little problems and challenges we've been facing. Let's get started. I'm really excited to see how Adobe Aero become a software that you can use on desktop because uh, last year when launched, I remember we can use it only on the phone. It's a mobile app. As I mentioned from the previous video, Augmented Reality becomes such an accessible creative content that you can interact with easily as a viewer and as a creator. So the first new feature that I want to talk about is now you can add animated GIF file into the software. Last year, I remember when Adobe launched Adobe Aero, we were really excited to try. So what you can do that moment, you need to, you can upload it, a still image, animated 3D character. And I remember we tried to upload it one video and it didn't work. With the new feature, you can turn your video into a GIF file and then you can upload it, the GIF file onto this software. So it's, it's another layer of experience. As you can see, we made our intro video features now into different layers and animated. So as you can imagine, if you have some cool logo animation or some motion graphics you want to share to your audience or clients, that's a great way to show it in a real life environment. The second new feature is now you can add a spatial audio sound. That's a game changer because as you may know, to have an immersive experience, sound is such an important element. If you can hear the sound, when you go closer, the sound gets louder. When you go further, the sound gets the more subtle. And then you can really feel immersed in that environment. And that's another feature that you can try. On the desktop version, you can see there's a button that you can click, spatial sound. And the third new feature is about animation character. Now you can blend into two animation files into one. So before when we use the mobile app, you can only add one 3D animated motion. Right now with the desktop version, as you can see, we used uh, one of the 3D avatar we've made before and we also use this mix symbol. This software is to rig your 3D character in the different actions. So we made two animated actions. First one is the character jump off from the speaker and then walk, turn back. So there are two actions. Before with the Adobe Aero mobile software, you can really uh, put two actions together. Now with the new exciting features, you can combine them together. Very fun to make. The next one I want to talk about is the image anchor new feature. As I mentioned from the previous video, this is almost same with marker based argument reality, but instead of design your own marker to track the image, now with Adobe Aero new software, again, you don't have to code anymore. So all this interactive experience can be based on any image you want. Say if you want to have just a beautiful photo you download online, even use this photo, create animation on top, and then you can let your audience or a client to experience that. The last one, which is the most exciting one for me, is now you can actually share the animated file, which is the augmented reality experience that you 
you've created on the desktop, you can share it with the QR code. When we made augmented reality before, you have to let people scan the code and then it will guide you to one web page. The web page will allow you to use your camera to scan the image. Now everything is solved just because of this free app. So you can send the code to, uh, you can post the code on your Instagram. I will do that for our Instagram post. I will also put the code at the end of this video. If you're interested to see what we've done, you can scan the code with your camera and I'm sure you can see the whole experience at your own space. I think because Adobe just released all these new functions and new uh, software, the Adobe Arrow desktop is still a beta. So there are a couple of problems when we're trying to create our own experience. The first one is that we realize when we import all the animated 3D file and then the audio file, we have to upload everything together first and then animate it. At the beginning, we try to upload and animate one and add another action. It doesn't really work. So that's one thing. The second thing is, uh, the first time when we uploaded everything and it's animated well on the desktop version, but when I see the experience through my mobile phone, the file seems a bit too big. It keeps crashing. So we changed the file into a smaller size and now it works. So I guess if you put too many animated files or too big files, it's not gonna work. So try to play around. If it keeps crashing, that means your file is probably too big. And the last problem we are facing is when we use, when we share the QR code, because I have an iPhone, my, uh, my business partner have an Android. From the conference yesterday, it said both Apple product and Android will work. But apparently the Android didn't really work. I don't know why, but we, I'm sure they'll keep updating. I'm, I hope eventually, because this is one of the biggest problems with augmented reality. So at the end of the video, I will post the QR code. I hope you guys can enjoy what we've done. Now with the function of sharing QR code, there are so many ways you can connect with your audience, friends, um, clients virtually using augmented reality. Maybe you can print out your QR code, put in uh, the gift that you give to your friends. Or if you're selling a product, you can put a QR code on the product, especially if you are small business owners. If you're artist, uh, any kind of digital creator, you can make your prototype or artwork into augmented reality experience and then send a QR code or implement on your website. There's so many way, creative ways you can do it. If you have any questions, please send us a message. We'd love to help and we'll keep you updated about new features, new things we've created. And uh, if you're interested, you can also join our Discord group. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time.